The Packers, on the other hand, they've been just decimated in a lot of areas with injury, but they've had number 12 each and every week, and that's been a big deal. Pass rush coming, and Rodgers, a perfect throw, and simply dropped by Martellus Bennett. It would have been a first down, and Rodgers is hurt. He took a big hit at the end of that play just as he got it out, and it looked like he might have landed on that right shoulder. That's Anthony Barr. Mm. Shoulder, right elbow. If you practice every day and work hard with Drew Brees, he'll cut it loose and give you chances to make plays. He's done it his whole career. Into the offseason as well. He brings the receivers out to San Diego where he lives in the offseason. Oh, boy. And there is the interception. And it's Deion Jones, the New Orleans native who grew up here and had never been in the dome prior to tonight. He's in the dome and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. And Anderson hasn't missed in two years. So that's a pretty good bet if you say, do you think... Gary Anderson will make this field goal. The answer should probably be yes. 39 yards away. And it's not good. The Falcons have one timeout. They have the ball as Anderson misses. Pull it left. So, um, again, we talked about his maturity over the course of the summer. You know, came in. In good shape, had done a lot with the guys because they weren't allowed to be around the coaches in the facility, organized some activities, you know, stepped up in a leadership role, and we're seeing a lot of that. Pass was batted by Abraham, and this is Corey Beerman, chased by Kellen Davis, and Beerman takes it in. And had the ball knocked away, but it was ruled a touchdown. He crossed the plane, so Abraham batted the pass from Cutler. And then Corey Beerman, who will turn 26 years of age tomorrow with an early birthday present. I know Bailey's on a, a heck of a streak here, having hit 30 in a row. But he's definitely thinking about it. He knows it's a long kick. Hunter will hold it. For the win, Dan Bailey from 53 yards, and it is offline. Overtime in Dallas. Third down. Three out of four times when the Steelers have started a season at three and one going back to 1990. They have made the playoffs. Two of those years they've gone to the Super Bowl. Down the middle of the field, it is caught! Murphy inside the 10, all the way to the five yard line. And now Glennon will race him up to the line of scrimmage. Did he get it? Touchdown, Vincent Jackson, with seven seconds to go. And for the first time in four years, the Cowboys will have a winning record at the halfway point of this league. The yards, and here is Stafford's pass, and Calvin Johnson stopped at the one-yard line. The Detroit Lions, no timeouts left. Time is running. They're at the one, and Stafford says, come on in. Reaches over. Touchdown! Well, you talked about hey. Hugh Jackson and Cleveland. I have nothing bad to say about him. My fundamentals uh, needed work, and Hugh Jackson uh, did great work. And I'll tell you, he looks better. He looks sharp out here today. 35. <laughs> That's on cue. Patrick Chung. That's Bowles is going to take him down. That is the ultimate kibosh. Nobody can do it like I can. <laughs> You've eclipsed Coach Madden with that one. <laughs> that's Hall of Fame. That's that's Sorry, a Hall of Fame. Brock. That's a Hall My of Fame kibosh. Brock. Play and the clock winding down below that. As the clock winds out on the Philadelphia Eagles, a game they thought would project them into a possible wild card position. It would bring them seven and five had they won. But a late interception by the Giants will preserve a giant victory. An upset win as the Giants lead 17 to 12 and we're inside 30 seconds. The Eagles have no timeouts. Wait a minute. Here's a free foot. I don't believe it. The Eagles pick it up.
up and Herbert Edwards runs it in for a touchdown. An incredible development. Just like the opening game of the season when the New England Patriots were running the play, the game out against the Washington Redskins. A fumble. This is the most astounding development. This is even more unbelievable. The just Eagles. doesn't get the snap. He just loses the snap, doesn't get it. And who's right there? Herman Edwards picks it up on the dead run and goes in for a touchdown. Still got a lot of time. 6.52 timeouts, two-minute warning. Brandon Whedon's going to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys next week. So I know that'll be a big story. Oh, Matt Castle, they're going to go to him. No, they're not. It's going to be Brandon Whedon next week as the starting quarterback of this football team. Matt Castle, of course, the former Patriot, who came to Dallas just a couple of weeks ago by way of Buffalo. Here's Whedon loading up and firing and intercepted. It's Logan Ryan with the interception. Whedon ends the return. Well, that was good timing on my comment, but that's still not going to change anything. Bad decision. Trying to make a play, tough to do, against a good defense. 22 straight kicks converted by the 40-year-old kicker. try for Dustin Hopkins just a little bit more difficult 53 yards he has not missed as a professional also perfect on extra points but it's that kind of day for kickers in Atlanta both he and Matt Bryant were perfect coming into this game